Alright guys, so if it's not already blatantly obvious to you, I clearly bent a tie rod, so yeah, I'm going to have to find out how to replace that. Yeah, this never works. There we go. Next you gotta pull out the boot right here. Sorry guys, I screwed up. I need to go back a step. Put the tie rod in back into the knuckle right here. You have to unscrew this nut right here. Oh man. All right boys, looks like we're about to have to take out the blowtorch. Alright boys, it's still smoking. Once I heated this thing up, the boat moved a lot easier than I expected. It's just moving out like nothing, man. The thing, the this this boat right here was damn near was damn near impossible to move, man. Anyway, let's get the rest of this thing off. You know, I should have probably counted the threads. We're gonna have to take this thing to an alignment shop anyway, so. Now you can take the boot off, and there it is. Oh, well, that, that's not it yet. All right, boys, I know y'all are gonna hate me for it, but I didn't show y'all how I actually did this thing. You gotta take this thing right here. I, I rented mine from O'Reilly's. It has all, like this whole set right here. And that goes over the tie rod. You have to use one of those things, wrench it off. I know that's a pretty terrible explanation, I know. So, so I got the tie rod out a while to figure it out so I finally got this thing out and this is what a bent tie rod looks like all right so uh, for all y'all watching this if y'all don't want to end up like me do not rip the e-brake in the snowstorm and end up smashing your car into a cub because that's what happened to me and then later the the bad alignment ended up making me crash into a snowbank and ruining my $475 front bumper cover so yeah don't end up like this man Next, you gotta get your eBay tie rod. At least I got mine on eBay. It cost me $12. This is what a tie rod is supposed to look like. This is not what it's supposed to look like, right? Bent straight, man. I'm just gonna put it into the steering rack. Got this thing torqued in there. I don't know what the torque is. I just torque it down till it's snug, man. Put the old boot back on. All right, guys, it's the next day because I ran out of battery. So I did a little uh, moving around of the alignment. I just did a little eyeball alignment just to make sure it's a little bit good. As you can see, it's damn near straight. Uh, this wheel is slightly towed in, which if you go over to this side, this one is perfect. 